NFL training camp is wrapped up, college football is approaching, and high school athletes are in the preseason. And we know things will be a little different in Duval County this year as district leaders hope to make things as safe as they can be at high school football games. These are the recognizable sounds of a high school football game, but these sounds may become the norm too. It's still August in the middle of summer, so starting a game with the sun still shining is not unusual. But starting this early is new in Duval County, and so is the increased security effort with metal detectors and wanding. I think they're doing the best they can. I think that'll help some, but um, it'll help some. Last fall's season started with a triple shooting outside the Lee and Reigns game. A shooting happened outside the Rebolt and Terry Parker spring football game this year. Well, I don't, I don't think all those incidents are connected. I, I think we got other social problems that caused this to happen, and we're not going to solve them right here at the football game. So whatever we can do to make these kids safe, I feel like that's important. In June, the school district announced most varsity games would kick off at 6 p.m. this season. While our crime and safety expert believes added daylight helps decrease criminal activity, some of the fans say they hope that's true. Well, it is disappointing, but, you know, it's not just the schools, it's everywhere. It's, uh, it's national, it's international, so I think it's a reflection of the world we live in. And, um, you know, it's, a, it's the new normal, I guess is what you would say. There were 32 preseason games today in our area. Eight of them started at 6 p.m., at least an hour earlier than usual.